everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow tutorial. I've done so many videos with this palette, but today is special because I'm going to be doing my first ever cut crease with this palette. So, starting off with the shade Limit, bringing that back and forth into my crease and flicking it outwards, I'm getting that cut crease kind of vibe going on. So, going back and forth with that, there aren't a lot of transition colors to choose from in this palette, so I always start off my tutorials with this shade. It's a really good, like, light mauve shade. And then I'm actually going to be going into the other kind of transition color next that one is called nooner and I'm just putting that in the crease I'm not going as far up as I did with limit this is more in the crease and then of course flicking outwards I forgot to mention this earlier, but the reason why I'm even doing this video is because Urban Decay came out with a Naked 3 Mini, and it has all brand new shades. So if you're interested in these type of tones, check out Sephora, check out the Urban Decay website. It's really, really pretty. I'm on the fence. I don't know if I'm going to buy it yet. So now I took the shade Dark Side, which is like a silvery kind of gunmetal shade, putting that in the crease, just kind of doing the same motions back and forth. This is just deepening up the look using that Sigma E25, one of my favorite blending brushes. And then I'm going in to the darkest shade in the palette this is called black heart and again deepening up the look this time i'm being a lot more precise using that eco tools domed brush just getting it in the crease if your lid looks messy don't worry guys because you're going to be cutting the crease so all of that is going to be gone Speaking of cutting the crease, I'm taking my concealer and just putting it on the lower half of my lid looking up and then that gives you the baseline of your crease basically. That gives you the whole template. So do that and then everything else is pretty, you know, smooth sailing. I did a video with the Nudie Patootie palette where I go into depth step by step. Um, how to do like just an easy cut crease. So I'll link that right there in the eye. And that's what I'm pretty much doing here. I'm just um, layering on that concealer and then this is the brush from the Naked Honey palette. The Naked brushes I use all the time and I'm just picking up the excess so that my lids aren't like heavy or anything. And now here I'm just doing the same thing to this eye. For all over the lid, I'm using the shade Trick, which is a really pretty like rosy gold. So I'm just packing that on with this really thin um, like flat brush by Sigma. This is pretty easy self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go super crazy explaining. <laughs> All right, time for liner. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner and I'm just doing a little wing as per usual, nothing crazy. If you mess up, don't worry, get some concealer and just sharpen up that edge. I swear concealer just helps everything, makes everything look good. Um, so now I'm just going to actually do my regular concealer routine. You guys know the drill. I'm using Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's my favorite. I just, I can't use anything else, okay? I'm sorry if it's boring and it's repetitive, but it's my favorite. Now it's time for a little brow bone highlight. I'm taking the shade Strange and just putting that right underneath the eyebrow to brighten things up. To set my concealer today, I'm using my favorite right now. It's the Givenchy Prisme Libre Setting Powder. I love this. I mentioned this in my current video, my current faves and nays. It's beautiful, makes my under eyes look so good. So it's bougie, but it's worth it. Okay, here I'm taking the shade Dark Side, the dark, nope, not, not Dark Side, Black Heart, the darkest shade in the palette, putting that on the outer third of my lower lash line and then blending everything out with Nooner. For lashes, I'm using the Naked Ardell Lashes, the 422s, there they are, and then boom, look is complete. I love this. I've been like on the ball with cut creases. This isn't my best, but it's still really pretty. I think it's beautiful, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.